What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We're currently in the car heading south down to the Florida Keys. We'll try to get some really cool shots on the way down because the Florida Keys is a chain of beautiful islands down here at the southern tip of Florida and one of my favorite places to hang out but also my friend has a house down there, this little slice of paradise that he says there are these holes in the ground. We don't know what exactly dug them. I kind of have a good idea. I believe it could be a nesting site to an invasive species. So we're going down to check out exactly what is going on and see what animal has messed with my friend's beach. If it is an invasive species, we will have to take care of the situation accordingly, but we really don't know what's gonna happen when we get down there. So we are gonna put on some music right now and cruise, and I'll see you when we get there. So we are down here in the Florida Keys now, and guys, take a spin around with the camera. Look how beautiful this area is. You can see why any animal, even a person, would want to move down here or live down here. You've got beautiful mangroves right here, the coastline on the Florida Bay. It is just a beautiful area to be and I am very excited to see what is going on over here. I think the beach is our area of concern right now, so let's go see what is going on. So now we are on the beach here and Charles has sent me pictures of these deep sand pits that something has dug into the beach here. You can see little tracks of some sort of tail. Those aren't foot marks there, they're sliding down. There's a big hole there behind Sean and we've got a big hole just down here. Look at this. I don't even know how far back this thing goes. If we stick our hand is there an animal in here? I don't believe there's anything in here, and this sand is pretty tough. I mean, on the top layer, it's pretty easy to break up, but down here, you can see it's actually holding its shape and creating this deep cave, but I think we need to dig into here and see what's going on. Another thing that Charles saw last night, just last night, he called me on FaceTime late in the evening, and he showed me that there was a crocodile coming up from the bank and actually moved up into his yard. If we come over here, right here where we are sitting is where the crocodile was laying last night and she does look like she could be gravid. Look at this image right here next to where Charles' mom loves to suntan. We've got this big beautiful crocodile that's come into here. I don't know if it's a male or female, but it is nesting season. So she's probably looking for some similar sand to whatever has laid eggs over there for her to create her nesting spot. But this is not really the right place for her to nest because there's so many people in this neighborhood. So she probably will have to be removed from this area so that baby crocodiles don't hatch and become a nuisance in this area. But we definitely don't want to mess with a crocodile and or her babies because that is a felony and we don't want to get in trouble down here in South Florida. So we always have to make sure we're doing the right thing by the law and for these animals. But let's see what is up with these holes. So we've got our trusty shovel here and a bucket just in case we find anything. It'll go into this bucket because if it is what I think this is, typically in this area, there's not many things that would be laying eggs, at least to this extent, digging this big hole. It's not gonna be a bird that's burrowing in the ground here. It has a long tail that we've seen the tracks through the sand, so we know that it is some sort of reptile. And down here, we have a lot of big green iguanas. So I'm thinking that this is the area where a green iguana girl has decided to lay her eggs and I don't really know what we're gonna find. There's a couple spots. There's obviously this cave here. There's a mound right here. There's this cave here. There's a mound over there. There's a mound over there. I don't really know what we're gonna find or if we're gonna find anything at all, but let's start digging and see what happens. So this is the first hole that we're gonna check. You can see they've got this thick speaker wire running here. The only reason we are messing with this, let's see. Let's feel if there's anything inside. All right, all I feel right now is just sand. But I believe if an iguana did want to lay here, what it's gonna do is it's gonna dig down just as far as she thinks is appropriate and she's gonna test what the soil or what the ground feels like to see if it's adequate for her babies. And if she doesn't like it, she's gonna move somewhere else, which is why we probably have a test hole there, a test hole here, and some mounds over there because typically these iguanas are gonna wanna cover these holes so that their eggs are protected 
and no raccoons or any other predators can get inside of there. But this is a problem that we're seeing with these iguanas is this stuff is happening on our seawalls and under big structures, which is causing the concrete and other things to cave in. And it's causing a lot of destruction to our seawalls down here on the coast of South Florida. We're gonna dig down in here. I don't think there's anything in this hole. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in there. Let's move on to this one here. Oh, this one doesn't even go back nearly as far. This one goes just about there, about six to eight inches. So this is probably the first hole they dug and realized that it's not appropriate. And then they probably came over there, dug a little deeper and said, nope, this doesn't feel right here. And then they might have moved over there behind me. But Charles' dad does have some pictures. We just heard when he was here yesterday, he saw some iguanas messing around in the sand. I'm gonna try to get some of those videos. Big mound set up here just nearby. I'm trying to feel where the ground is a little more soft. You hear that up there? It's really hard. This seems like it was dug through very hard because all this sand looks the same. So you don't know exactly where these things are and how deep we'll have to go to find these eggs. It seemed like the ground was softer back here after we dug through the top layer of this mound, but we're still not finding anything. So before we keep looking here, I wanna check this mound because if you come over here, it looks like there's definitely been a lot of commotion here. This looks like the most promising spot out of all of the areas that we've checked so far. <laughs> so <laughs> we're over here digging this huge area and Charles steps back and the whole, all the sand caves into this area. I was digging over here and clearly this is where the hole was. So by accident, oh, what is this? Got a big nail there. Here you go. Oh, nice. This is the actual hole. Oh yeah. Now we're in the money. Let's see. Oh, oh, a rock. Oh, 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 a rock. <laughs> <laughs> this has got to be it because they wouldn't fill it in. He like dug this whole entire hole up around and I was like, ah, he was over there. And I backed up and my foot went <laughs> into another hole. All right, so I'm digging over here. Charles starts digging over there because Charles is so good at finding these iguana nests. I've been, I look, look at the hole that I dug. I haven't found anything. And look what Charles just dug up. I don't even know. With one scoop. I don't even know where this came from. There's a bunch of eggs here. Bro, you didn't even hit it. Look yeah. at this, guys. We have some little iguana eggs. Now, we don't want to ruin the rotation of them. Let's see. We've got some eggs here. Charles is the man. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to see how they were flipped because <laughs> look at all of these eggs here. Hold on, we're going through this. Four, I don't, four. Know, I don't know how many there are. Here's one here. Ooh. They're not even that deep. This guy. How did you find this? Dude, I told you, I was going like this, and I was like, man, it's pretty soft there. And he didn't even hit one. That's and the look, funny this, part. this one here is all sucked in. Who knows what happened to this guy? It looks like it was just a dud. There's probably more. Oh, oh there's, 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 there's more right here. Look at that. Two more. Guys, this is crazy. I have never done this before. I've always caught iguanas growing up and I believe that's what these eggs are. It was dressed out of here, right? Yeah. yeah. That is crazy. So I'm not sure if this iguana dug all the way over here and laid them here and made the closing to the hole over there or what exactly happened here. But just by luck, Charles was able to flip that's this good. sand. This is crazy. Let's see if we find any more in here. Here is another one. We have found another egg here. This is crazy. Let's try to go through here. Oh, look at that. Look at this, guys. Oh my goodness. Let's get this guy out of here. Put him just like that. We've got this, oh, we've got more. Oh, oh, I popped one. Either that one was popped already. There is definitely something that happened to this poor guy. And you could see that that is fresh. He was popped already, maybe from the commotion of the shovel, maybe from something with the sand. Look at that. Just so many little dinosaur eggs here. We've hit the jackpot. Look guys, look at this. Going back in here sideways. Another egg here. Got another one just here. This is nuts. Oh, oh, oh. So as I'm digging here, you can see this sand is hard. This sand here is all soft, which means the mom would have probably stopped just here. And I think this is all of the eggs here. So this is probably 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 eggs. Hopefully we didn't miss any, but look how crazy this is. So we have filled up all the holes. We still have to go over there. Still have to fill this one in so that sand is back to normal. I don't really know what's gonna happen with that crocodile, so we'll keep you updated on that. And we'll also keep you updated on this situation because I'm not exactly sure if we can take these things home with us, if these are iguana eggs as I think they might be. We can't actually hatch these iguanas legally. Down here in South Florida, it is illegal to keep green iguanas because they're such an invasive problem here. So if these things were alive, I would not be able to possess them. And I don't even know what the legality is of having these eggs in my possession. So I've got to see before we do anything like that because we want to follow the laws and make sure that we stay out of trouble. These little guys being removed from here is a really good thing for our environment. I really don't know what we're going to do with these guys. Something or someone, maybe even myself, could actually eat these things. And I don't know if we would do a video eating iguana eggs. Now, we're just gonna roll this on out. You guys are just gonna have to subscribe to the channel, click that notification icon, and be notified when the next video comes out to see what happens. I'll see you guys next time, peace.